Hello, my dear students. Today, the topic of our discussion is long question answers from class 10, subject math and chapter compound interest. Today, here we discuss two questions and their solution. These are the long questions that are mostly asked in SE examination in group D of 5 marks each. Question number one, by what percent more is the yearly compound interest on rupees 2000 for three years at 10% per annum than simple interest on rupees 3000 for two years at 8% per annum? Find it. It is the question asked in the SE model 2074. In this question, there is a sum rupees 2000 which is compounded yearly for three years and 10% per annum. There is another sum rupees 3000 that is given in a simple interest for two years at 8% per annum. According to the question, what is the percentage difference between the yearly compound interest and the simple interest of these two different sums for different time and for different rate of interest? Solution. For compound interest, principal P is equal to rupees two thousand time T is equal to three years and rate r is equal to 10% per annum here compound interest ci is equal to p 1 plus r by 100 whole power t minus 1 or Compound increase is equal to P. Value of P is 2000. 1 plus value of R is 10 divided by 100 whole power. Value of T is 3 minus 1. Or compound increase is equal to 2000. 1 plus. 1 0 at the numerator and 1 0 at the denominator can be cancelled. The remaining is 1 and 10. 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1. Or keep minus 1. Or compound interest is equal to 2000. 1.1. Or keep minus 1. Or compound interest is equal to 2000. 1.1. 1 .1 whole cube becomes. 1.331 by this one or compound interest is equal to 2000 into 1.31 minus 1 becomes 0 0.331 therefore compound interest is equal to rupees 662 this is the compound interest now Again, for simple interest, principal P is equal to rupees three thousand. Time T is equal to two years. And rate R is equal to 8% per annum. Here, simple interest is equal to P into T into R by 100. That is, or 
simple interest is equal to value of P is 3000, T is 2 years, A is, A rate is 8 percent divided by 100. Since they are in multiplication form, two zeros from the numerator, sorry, two zeros from the denominator and two zeros from the numerator can be cancelled. Or the remaining is 30 into 2 into 8. Therefore, the simple interest is 8 to the 16, 16 to the 48 rupees 480. Now, we need to calculate the difference between compound interest and simple interest. Now, compound interest minus simple interest is equal to rupees 662 minus rupees 480. The difference will be rupees 182. Rupees 182. Again, we need to convert the difference in percentage. So, percentage difference will be equal to compound interest minus simple interest divided by simple interest into 100%. That will be equal to rupees 182 divided by rupees 480 into 100% by calculating we will get 37.92 percentage hence compound interest is 37. Point 37.92% more than simple interest. Question number two. Find the difference between compound interest compounded semi annually and simple interest on rupees 8000 at 10% per annum in one and a half years. This question is asked in SRC 65 as well as in 2069. Here in the question, a sum rupees 8000 is given. It is compounded semi annually as well as at simple interest at 10% per annum and one and a half years. Here we need to find the difference between the compound interest compounded semi-annually and simple interest. Solution given principal P is equal to rupees 8000 time T is equal to one and a half years that can be written as 3 by 2 years rate r is equal to 10 percent per annum we need to calculate simple interest as well as semi annual compound Interest CI. Here we know simple interest is equal to P into T into R by 100 or simple interest is equal to 8000 into T 3 by 2 into rate 10 divided by 100 or it can be written as simple interest is equal to 8000 into 3 into 10 divided by 2 into 100. This is focusing 100 here. Or, since all are in multiplication form, two zeros from the numerator and denominator can be cancelled. Here, 2 on the 2, 2 parts are 10. The remaining simple interest will be 80 into 3 into 5. 
5 15 15 units are 120 so the simple interest becomes rupees 1200 also semi annual compound interest is equal to p 1 plus r by 200 whole power 2t minus 1 or semi annual compound interest is equal to 8000 1 plus L of R is 10 divided by 200 whole power 2. The time is 3 by 2 years minus 1. Or compound interest it is equal to 8000 1 plus 1 and 1 0 can be cancelled in the numerator and the denominator. Here 2 and 2 can be cancelled. The remaining will be 1 divided by 20 will be 0.05 here the remaining is 3 minus 1 or compound semi annual compound interest is equal to 8000 1 plus 0.05 will be 1.05 whole cube minus 1 or semi annual compound interest is equal to 8000 bracket 1.05 whole cube will be 1.1576 minus 1 or semi annual compound is increase is equal to 8000 into 0 0.1576 therefore semi annual compound increase becomes rupees 1261 now, the difference between difference between semi annual compound interest and simple interest will be equal to compound interest minus simple interest that will be equal to rupees 1261 minus 1200. Answer will be rupees 61. Hence, the difference between semi annual compound interest and simple interest on the given value of PT and R is rupees. 61. If you have any confusion and questions from today's discussion, you can comment below. In our next video, we will discuss more long question answers from chapter compound interest. To get more videos like this, please like, share, subscribe and press notification button to get more videos like this at first.